So today I'm at the Golf U Square Mall and I wanted to do a little video about the JC Pennies which is liquidating here. They're supposed to be shutting this down within the next two months or so. I think by the middle of August it'll be gone. But I just wanted to do a short little video and talk a little bit about it. This Pennies is uh, one of several major anchors in this mall, which is located in Port Ritchie, Florida. It's, it's the only mall in West Pasco, the West Pasco portion of, of Pasco County. And they probably employ about 50 or 60 people. But the main thing that I wanted to say about this Pennies is that a couple months back, Penny's released a store closing list of approximately 30 stores of their 1,100 or so store chain. And of the 30-something stores, this one here was on the, on, the, on the closing list. So I think that really speaks volumes of what's going on with the economy here in West Pasco and specifically the Port Ritchie area. And I know that Pennies has had negative earnings per share for at least the last two years. I don't even know how they're keeping the whole chain afloat unless they're getting money through the through the back door with the Federal Reserve and maybe the Treasury or something. Maybe they're getting no interest loans or some kind of grants or something. I, I don't know. But it's, it's really peculiar to me. And, and they're not the only company that has negative earnings. Another one is Sears. Sears is really struggling. That's another anchor in this plaza. And I'm not really sure how much longer these, these companies are going to remain solvent. At some point, the, uh, the corporate welfare from the government is going to get cut off and these chains are going to go down. They're going to go down uh, in, in large numbers. So, but if you're an employee of JC Penney's or this mall, I think you should really kind of take note of what's going on because at some point this mall is going to shut down. I mean it, it has to because the foot traffic is down, the, the vacancy ratio is up. Uh, a lot of times I've been in here and I've been in here almost countless times. I see people walking around, the vast majority of people I see walking around do not have shopping bags, they're just walking around to hang out and there's a problem with riffraff. You know, de delinquent kids and, and other stuff and I would imagine the shoplifting has to be quite high here um, in the different stores throughout the mall so but yeah Penny's uh, I, I don't know how much longer is, is gonna be around so but if you are an employee that that works here I would I would strongly encourage you to find out about permaculture and start a garden or something because once you lose your job here you'll be on unemployment for a little while if you're fortunate enough to get it and then after it runs out that's it I mean the vast majority of people are gonna stay unemployed so it's better to do something productive like plant a garden than sit around and get depressed and then who knows get into drugs or alcohol or whatever so that's that's my advice to people I just wanted to talk briefly very briefly about the Sears this is located at the south end of Gulf View Square Mall and that right over there is the is the best buy but I would imagine that after the pennies leaves that the Sears will probably be the next anchor to go and there's I believe there's five anchors six anchors in here it's Sears, Pennies, Dillard's, Macy's, TJ Maxx and Best Buy but I, I could totally see Sears being being the next one to go. So hopefully somehow it manages to hang on. I, I can't see it. But I just wanted to mention it briefly in this video. So if you're watching this, like I said earlier, I would uh, I would start learning about permaculture and gardening, especially if, if you're employed here or employed anywhere and or if you've lost your job or whatever else because that's that's really sustainable living as far as permaculture is concerned so that's all I have for this one